Welcome everyone, it's the Man Remix here, bringing you guys another video today, and we've got some additional information to the leak yesterday pertaining to the brand new Call of Duty title, Infinite Warfare. So, if you guys weren't aware, when you logged into the PlayStation Store, you had on the trending tab, on the top left, was Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, and it was scrollable. You could go back and forth. Now, there was no information provided there. However, we did obtain some new information over the past 24 hours. Some of the main information we got out was high-res images of the logo, which looks really, really cool. The Infinite Warfare, I'll leave a link below. The logo of the words Infinite Warfare themselves has this glitchy or ghosting type effect to it, and it looks really, really cool. So, following that, we start getting photos being released from certain retailers. My favorite leak comes from Target. It has two things in particular that make me go, okay, this is all very, very real. And we're going to find out very, very shortly. The first one is it's got the date on it, November 4th, okay? So mark your calendars, November 4th, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare will be available here in the U.S. The second thing that made this very, very interesting for me, this character appears to be holding a helmet that one would pressurize, maybe in outer space or in a deep sea dive. So, okay, I get that. Attached to this helmet seems to be some sort of breather hose. On top of that, on either one of his cuffs, you see what appears to be this big metal ring that you would find, again, on a deep sea suit or a space suit to allow you to take the gloves off and to use your hands because those gloves can often be kind of hefty and you can't do fine little things with them. So I think we are heading in the right direction. This is space. Think about it. Infinite warfare. It means it doesn't end, okay? I don't think it means the warfare never ends. I think it means that, you know, instead of saying space warfare sounds kind of cheesy, you do infinite. Well, all right, maybe you play on infinite, infinity ward. The last little bit of information that just kind of makes me like, I don't know if I'm excited or if I'm confused is I presume it's a pre-order bonus. Here it says also includes Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare Remastered. That's really cool. A lot of people are really excited about it. However, I do have some questions and some reservations. Why in the world are you putting an old game with the new game? I mean, like, I know we did it with Black Ops, but I'm kind of wondering, wouldn't that be something you'd want to add down the line? Because on day one, when I pick up the game, I want to play the new game. And I want to play the new game with everybody else that's playing the new game. I don't want to pick up the new game and have half the clientele playing the new game and half the clientele playing the old game. Because let's face it, I'm sure some people will play this game for two minutes, think it's cheesy, and go, okay, boom, COD 4, there we go. That's not an incentive for me to buy the game, and I think it's kind of alarming that Infinity Ward would throw this in there as an incentive, almost as if they're trying to cover something up, as if the game wouldn't sell on its own. Let's hope there's no loose ends here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like it, like it. If you love it, subscribe. If you got something to say, let me know in the comments below. As always, this has been your boy Remix. Peace out.